The Indonesian House of Representatives passed the 2023 state budget bill into law, restoring a targeted deficit of below 3% from the GDP. And according to Indonesian Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati, the state budget will be financed with caution amidst the current global economic uncertainty. Metro Globe Network's Regina Agrubi has more. The House of Representatives plenary meeting to ratify the bill for the state budget revenue and expenditure of 2023 came into law on Thursday, the 29th of September 2022, with a targeted deficit of below 3 percent in accordance to the state finance laws. President Joko Widodo said the state budget deficit will be maintained at below 3 percent, despite suggestions to create room in the deficit of more than 3 percent in order to grow the economy. Banyak yang menyarankan, Pak Presiden, kita harus untuk menumbuhkan ekonomi, kita minta ke DPR agar fiskal kita bisa diberi kelonggaran lebih dari tiga persen lagi, seperti krisis. Saya diskusi dengan Bu Menteri Keuangan, beliau menyampaikan alasan banyak, ya, kita putuskan tetap di bawah tiga persen saja. The Indonesian Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati said the state budget for 2023 will be financed with caution amidst the current global economic uncertainty. APBN 2023 didesain dengan defisit sebesar 2,85% 2,84% dari PDB di mana pembiayaan anggaran mencapai 598,2 triliun dan pembiayaan utang mencapai 696,3 triliun. Kita akan terus menjaga agar pembiayaan ini dapat dilakukan dengan aman dan hati-hati apalagi dalam situasi di mana sektor keuangan global mengalami dinamika yang sangat besar. The state budget deficit will be maintained at below 3 percent, precisely at 2.84 percent, with state revenue and the value of 2,463.2 trillion rupiah including tax revenue in the amount of 1,718 trillion rupiah an expenditure at 2,714.16 trillion rupiah. Meanwhile, economic growth is capped at 5.3 percent, inflation at 3.6 percent, and oil prices at 90 U.S. dollars per barrel. And poverty rate is targeted at around 7.5 to 8.5 percent, unemployment rates at around 5.5 to 6 percent, and the Gini ratio at 0.376.